Aharo. He gets the decision over Subriel Matias and uh, shocked a lot of people, including myself. I had Paro losing by knockout. I guess just like me, I guess just like a lot of other people, I was a believer in this Subriel Matias dude as far as him, you know, him just being this relentless monster. And I and I acknowledged that in, in a few of my videos, but I also always said, you know, him him standing there is going is going he going to pay for it eventually, man. Him him not having the best of defense, uh, he's going to pay for it, man. And the strange thing about it is, I had no idea it would be a Liam Paro. You know, I'm thinking, you know, if this dude Subriel Matias ever gets knocked out or something, it's going to be somebody with some power, some real serious power. That he never felt or he can't handle that was gonna knock him out. I didn't think that he would ever really get out boxed, at least not right now, at least, with the amount of punches that he throws. But in that fight with Liam Paro, his punch volume was lower than usual. Uh Liam Paro, this also showed that he has a great chin. And he was he was and he's not a big puncher, but he stood there in the pocket with a with a with a so-called heavy puncher in Subriel Matias. And you never really seen Paro really seriously hurt, um, you know, um, to his credit. Uh, Subriel Matias, you never really saw him hurt either, but he he was flustered, bro. I, I don't know why he wasn't. Did he feel something from Paro? I, I don't know. But I told y'all, man, this is, this is boxing. This is weird. Stuff like that happens. Somebody that don't that's not known to be a big puncher, it could turn out one night. He turned around and put the lights out, put somebody lights out put a big puncher on his ass. Um, but I think Lee Pyro, even though, you know, he don't got the, the a certain level of knockout, I think he do got some good pop behind his punches, though. Um, he don't have, like, 90% KO ratio, 80, and all that stuff, but he got good power, decent power. And Subriel Matias, man, uh, he just kept coming forward, plotting, doing what he does, he was he was catching Pyro with some really good shots. Pyro was, you know, was taking him well. So they it was a lot of back and forth in that fight, man. Excellent fight. But Liam Pyro came out on top, and he is now the new uh, IBF uh, lightweight. Uh, I'm sorry, he's the new IBF junior welterweight champion of the world. Okay, so now Subriel Matias, he probably ended up fading away into obscurity now. Because he, he was this, this boogeyman, man, that he hadn't really fought the best competition. And then when you step up, man, this is the stuff that happens, man. And now he's going to fight his way back through everything. And, you know, what can he change about his style? Most likely probably nothing. That's probably how he's going to fight until he retires, man. It's just the way it is. I can't see them implementing anything different in his game. Maybe... Uh, try to show him a little bit of outboxing moves and teach him to move around the ring and, and, and some better defense, man. But I don't see him doing anything different. I think what you see is what you get with Subriel Matias, man. And that will work with some fighters, but it's not going to work with everybody. That's why it's good to be um, a complete fighter. Knowing, okay, this, this way of me fighting ain't going to work against this dude, so let me fight him like this, you know, stuff like that. But... He don't have that. You know, he's one gear, one gear only. Some might even call him a, a one-trick pony, but that's what he is. And that cost him uh, last night his, his title. And what's next for Liam Pyro? Oh, uh, well, he's the champ now. So, like I said, just like 135, got four champs, so does 140 pounds. You got Tiafimo Lopez. Uh, you got now Liam Pyro. You got Devin Haney. And uh, and uh, uh, Isak Cruz, so should be real interesting, man. How this goes, I would love to see Devin Haney scrap it with him, take you know, fight him. But we got Devin Haney about to line up with Sandor Martin. Tia Fimo's about to fight uh, some weird dude. He's about to fight somebody that's ranked 10, man. Steve Claggett. I, I don't get it, man. I don't understand it. You got Regis right there. Elvis Rodriguez, you got these, you got Ramirez, number three, you got Richardson Hitchens, 
you fighting the goddamn Steve Claggett. I don't know what that's about, man. But yeah. So um, what's going to be next for um, it's too early to tell who's going to be next for uh, uh, Liam Pyro. OK, so we'll have to wait and see, man. Maybe it'll be uh, Richardson Hitchens, I think. You know, I think that's probably what's going to end up happening. He's probably going to defend his title against Richardson Hitchens. But we'll see. Anyway, let me know what you thought about this fight. Shout out to uh, Liam Pyro. Shout out to Subriel Matias for, um, you know, being you know being who he is and giving us a good fight, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one. And I'm off this.